without due readies to ongoing operations by the police and the other security formations to restore peace in the southeast i want to outline the following political ways not as substitute but as some kind of amplifier to hasten the desired outcome from the security strategies already put in place by the authorities for the restoration of peace in southeast these suggestions are subject to more expertly reviews and improvements as i will neither claim expertise on security nor politics but as someone genuinely disturbed about not just the current state of security in the southeast but potential escalation of the situation if not intelligently handled i feel that some of these commonsensical position may go a long way in bringing some levels of stability in the southeast being convinced that the root cause of ragging crisis in the state is the mismanagement of political leadership by successive political leaders which has made those that should normally be seen as criminals and terrorists by the ordinary people becomes heroes in the sight of the frightened number of indubo i feel that beyond the ongoing show of force by security operatives a show of responsibility by the current political leaders and a genuine show of remorse by political that is the past political leaders will go a long way in assuaging the anger of majority of Indubu who genuinely feel that they have long been taken for granted by the Igbo and Nigerian political class. It is hardly agreeable that the Muhammad Buhari presidency is the worst in the mismanagement of our diversity as a nation and this has contributed more than any other thing to the heightened sense of rebellion even among the historically temperate and long-suffering nationalities in the country while this is a tough call president buhari needs to immediately review his strategies especially as it concerns the geopolitical composition of his cabinet and the civil service the sense of political alienation being felt by Indubo, especially the intelligentsia and political class, is a major reason why most of them may have you know, chosen to look the other way while this youth set the Southeast ablaze. The president needs to take back his words on rewarding those who give him 97 percent votes more than those who gave him five percent of votes this is the first time since independence that the Igbo are not holding any commanding political position in the federal executive council the ruling parties neck the federal civil service the security architecture and even unofficial circle of power brooks those who are close to the president should make him understand that the few of us who are struggling to condemn the ongoing agitation are seen as a fully futos a fully force or sellouts not just by IPOP sympathizer but the majority of Intubo we do what we do out of our love for Nigeria and any clear appreciation of the fact that this crisis will further damage our self built industries and opportunities across the Southeast. Governors of the Southeast will stop playing to the gallery and take needed actions to ameliorate the sufferings of evil youth across 
the Southeast. They should in introduce programs and policies that directly benefit and empower Igbo youth, not the insult of giving out rabbits to young graduates where their own children are working in some of the biggest multinational and top public corporations and agencies. Igbo governor should stop the grandstanding of holding irrelevant meetings and embark on regional projects that shall further open up economic opportunities to investors and entrepreneurs in the southeast, thereby creating more jobs and opportunities for wealth for our youth. If our youth are more productive, engaged, the unknown gunmen or whatever alias they choose to be called will have their ranks drastically deserted. Prominent political leaders from the Southeast who had held one position or the other in the past should stop hiding in the wings, waiting to make political capital out of the unfortunate situation. They should invest in the Southeast. They should embark on empowerment drives that will ensure that the best of our youth are given the breaks they deserve. It is unfortunate that while this crisis is raging in the southeast, most of them are hiding away abroad or in Abuja and looking for ways to make political capital out of the situation. These politicians have a role to play because if this youth protest against bad governance is justified, then they all contributed to it. The president needs to make a strong statement against the excesses of some murderous Fulani headsmen who have been destroying people's farm, raping women across the Middle Belt and the Southeast and seemingly, seemingly getting away with such atrocities. The statement by the president appointees justifying these criminal trespasses on people's private farms and properties are reprehensible and the president must rise beyond the attraction of Fulani irredentism and repudiate the criminal activities of his kinsmen. The president must understand and make it known to his staff and aides that cattle rearing is a private business ventured and those who cannot afford to read their cattle without destroying the businesses and lives of others should be barred from rearing cattle. What do you have to say about what has been said? What is your thought about this? Finally, the traditional rulers and other community leaders in the Southeast should be adequately carried along in the execution of some security operations as their intelligent assistance will be very vital in rooting out criminal elements in their various communities. We would like you to drop your comment on what has been said. We would like to know your own thoughts and reactions on what has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.